Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Kevin with survivalistboards.com. It's raining outside, so we're going to do a rainy day experiment. I posted a video about stockpiling seeds. And it seems that some people disagree with that. They said that you cannot save seeds in the freezer. Just cannot take a seed in its packaging, put it in the freezer, and expect it to last more than just a couple of years. That most seeds are going to go bad just in a couple of years. So I'll tell you what, here that are dated. Sell by 11 7, 2007. So these seeds are a year old. I know exactly when these seeds were bought. Exactly. They were bought in May of 2007. May 2007. In fact, this whole packet right here, except for a couple of these, are the factory seeds. I mean, the. the Feed and, form, feed and form supply store seed packages like this were built in 2007. Here's some cucumbers that I saved from a cucumber plant. I saved these seeds, grew the cucumber, then harvested the seeds October 10th, 2007. Right, so what, what, what I'm going to do, and I've got some seeds over here of Giant Noble Spinach dated March 5th. 2011. So, no, let's just go with the oldest seeds. Instead of digging through my stockpile, we'll just go with the oldest seeds. Alright, so we're going to pull some of these out. We're going to put them into a sheet, cookie sheet. We're going to put hot water over them. Some seeds have to reach a certain temperature before they'll germinate. Like so. Alright, we've got the stuff ready. Some seeds. We've got some cucumber seeds, some squash seeds some sunflower seeds and some corn and also I've got here some Furphy Select because these are mostly value pack stuff and a couple of seeds that I've saved. Let's get some of these Burpee Sugar Pea. These are dated, let's see here, hang on. Other side, I saw the date on here, here it is. 2008. So these are nine years old these were packaged in 2008, so these are nine years old. We're going to take some of these out and put them on here. Then we're going to cover them with warm water. And here's our cookie sheet. We've got a layer of paper towels down, the seeds, another paper towel, warm water. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a towel, a small little hand towel. We're going to lay it over there to keep the light off the seeds. Here we are three days later, and let's take a look at the results. The towel is just covering us. Anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll explain what the towel is. Seeds need two things, three, but anyway, seeds need moisture and they need temperature. Is that whenever you put down some paper towels like this and then cover it and then put water on it, the evaporation causes the water to cool. And if the seeds are below a certain temperature, they simply will not sprout. So I put the towel over it and set it outside in direct sunlight. It's been in the upper 70s, a couple of days of the low 80s. And what sitting out in the sunlight brings the, temp brings the seeds up to temperature of where they will start sprouting. And here we go. Alright, the cucumbers that I saved did not sprout. They did not, they're not germinating. The other ones, they're starting like the squash, the squash or zucchini. But anyway, they're starting to germinate. You can see the little roots coming out. Snow peas are starting to germinate. You got one there, one there. I'm going to go ahead and plant all of these. I imagine they'll come out here. I imagine they'll come on. Oh, that one there is starting to germinate. Yeah. That's one, two, three. Four. I can see it starting to come out. Let's see. Four. Okay. And then the sunflower seeds. I've gotten almost 100% germination on sunflower seeds. It's really good. That one there is not germinating. That one's not. That one 
one is. But you can't leave them like this for long because fungus will start setting in. I don't know if that's what that is on that seed right there, if it's some type of fungus, but you can't leave them like this for very long. And you got the corn. All right, corn is doing really well. Doing really well. One, I don't see that one do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, hang on. All right, so sunflower seeds almost 100%. Corn, I'd say about 75% or so. And these, there was a squash or zucchini. Anyway, that's starting to come out. That's starting to come out. I see a little one of there. That's starting to come out. So I'd say about 60, 70% of that. All right, guys and gals, that's it. That is uh, germinating decade-old seeds that have been kept in a freezer. So some people say that, oh, it won't work. You can't do that. Ger seeds only last for a couple of years. You have to throw them away and get new ones. I mean... Here is the proof that yes, you can take seeds. These the, these seeds were bought in May of 2007. One pack was in 2008, and then these over here are just some home saved uh, cucumber seeds. There's nothing in that one. I mean, they just didn't make. I may not have dried them good enough. Whatever. That was just an experiment. Anyway, guys and gals, I hope that, I hope y'all found this video informative and helpful. God bless. I'll talk to y'all later.